Morning guys, hopefully I can get the editor working on the laptop tonight, so I'm still going to record anyway. Uh, yesterday I was actually using the camera I got as well and uh, I had a look back at the footage and it's really quiet There's not a big enough speaker on it. So I think I'm gonna stick with my phone for a little bit. I haven't had breakfast yet Been up a couple of hours I've Just got to get ready. It's my niece's birthday party today. Got to get stuff done. How's it look like? My bedroom looks like a bomb's gone off Much to my mum's displeasure. Gonna have another good day. Yeah Yesterday, what did I do? We went for that meeting. I had fruit for breakfast. We went out to Corey's for lunch and I had the gammon and a jacket potato again and then we went to the fireworks late last night didn't have any food or anything the queue was phenomenal honestly it was so big so long I managed to bully my way to the front and I said do I need to stand in that queue for just a drink and they were like yeah and then one of the lads come over and he's like no what do you want <laughs> so thank god because I really couldn't be doing we standing in that queue uh, oh while I'm here, I can show you guys. This was the, the first time I was on Slimming World, so it's my half slimmer. Stone, slimmer, half stone, two stone. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get all these again. Today's plan of action is obviously, I'm gonna have some fruit when I get dressed and ready. Party, I'll probably come back and just have some soup or something. Hannah's around today, but she's busy, she's got stuff to do. So I'm gonna be looking after Abby today while she runs around and does what she's got to do. So much easier to do without the baby under her feet. It also keeps Faith busy for my mum as well while she gets her stuff done. Having another terrible hair day today. I need a haircut, definitely. I need to decide whether I'm going to grow it or not, because if I'm going to grow it, then I'll just trim out the sides for me a bit over my ears, so while it's in that growing phase, I don't look completely ridiculous. <laughs> so, all dressed and ready. You need a wee-wee, babe. Come on, then. Oh, you need me to help you. Come on, then. <clears throat> I ate the stairs. Oh. Whew. Look how beautiful Abby looks for the party. Yeah. Show everybody you're pretty close. Come stand up on the other step. <gasps> there we go. Look at me. <gasps> Say hello. Hello. Where are we going today? Lizzie's party. Lizzie's party. <laughs> Come on then, let's get you in the bathroom. Anyway, that's done. <laughs> Bless her. She's got dungarees on, so she's going and do the buttons today. But. I love her in dungarees. She had a little denim pair when she was a bubba and we used to be able to pick her up from the back. We did like Superman with her. She was ever so cute. Just been thinking about tomorrow and weighing. Don't know how it's going to go this week because my star week's late. I feel like I should be already but it just hasn't showed up. So I honestly don't know how tomorrow's going to go. Because when that sort of stuff happens, it really does affect your body, as only a, a woman would understand. A little bit nervous about that. Here's Hannah. How are you feeling about tomorrow, Bob? Just been saying, I, I, I should have had my star week already. So I don't know how it's going to go for me tomorrow. How can I comment on faces done based on the last few weeks? I know, yeah. Oh, what's going on with I'm you not, as well, eh? I might be surprised to know the whole stone off. Yeah, he's all turned off at once. Yeah. Maybe. I just lose once a month, that's all. Once a month's better than nothing at all. Just gonna finish getting ready now then. The risk of jinxing it, Monday morning madness is not happening. Mostly because Hannah's been up since, what, six. <laughs> She's sorted everything out, bags are ready. Weighing, a bit nervous. A lot nervous. Yeah. Hannah's a lot nervous. I haven't done my hair yet. So you best go do that. Gotta go pick Judy up and then make our way to Fat Club. Yeah. It's so unbelievably cold. Two and a half degrees. Oh. You say hello, Abby. Wave. Come on, TK. Oh, I need a button. She never likes talking to us in the car, does she? I don't know what it is. It's just always things to talk about. Yeah. I don't know if she gets a bit travel sick. 
No, she dreads getting in the car. <laughs> she loves to like fast driving. Oh, yeah. I don't drive fast. No. She pretends to, like, she'll take the corners a bit sharp, yeah. just so it feels like she is. Don't break before I go over a point. Yeah, no breaking over speed. What's that? Um, we're still strong. We still love each other. It's just... What? <laughs> Why is that funny? <laughs> See, she laughs. See, that's not good. <laughs> no, it, since things have happened with my back and there's been some pressures put on us over the over a certain amount of time with family and friends, etc. Having to cancel the wedding. It's put a lot of undue stress on us. So we're just checking in basically. We feel like there's been a breakdown in communication, don't we? Sometimes. Most of the time we do, but we don't when we really need it when it's really important that we do talk to each other we end up shutting down and not talking and then we get into an argument so yeah we went to our first consultation on saturday um it's more of um ticking boxes what we yeah want, blah, blah, blah. yeah what we want to get out of this etc um and we're on the waiting list to hopefully get a counselor in tamworth because Although Birmingham's not that far, it was a bit of a mission to drive, wasn't it? Well, yeah, plus... If it's, it's right in the city centre. If it's not a time when Abby's a nursery, then it's it's not too... No. Edit! Edit! Not going to edit it out. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a time when Abby's a nursery, then it's fine, but I can't, we can't always go into that because of my work. Yeah. Because obviously we have to go around that and I work different shifts every week. So if it's someone, if it's a time when Abby... We have our and she's not in nursery. Then it's it means a two to three hour slot where I've got to get somebody to look after her. My mum's not the worst of people, um, and she can be a bit of a handful. So yeah. And plus, I I have to like look after Faith and stuff when my mum's at work. So it, it, it just time consuming, but um, it'll be hopefully when. The waiting list isn't too long, it'll just be a set time every week. I think it's like six sessions, isn't it? And they yeah. work with you to do like communication skills and whatever. And I think what's really important to touch upon is the fact that yeah. my life has changed so drastically and therefore Hannah's has as well. Like I went from a working person to in the very, very beginning I was crippled, wasn't I? Yeah. It was it was bad. I forget how, how much I've got better, but it still affects me, you know. Um, I still struggle with not being able to go to work and earn a living. And, you know, when it comes to stuff like having these new pair of trainers, and it, it's hard not to just go and get them, but you've got to sit there and work everything out. Can we afford it? It's like I said to you before, we do live on a budget. It was role reversal because I was the part-time mom looking after Abby working part time just bringing in a bit of money to me then being the main earner I bring the money in so I have to I rely on having a well paid job and I have got a well paid job now uh, things are a bit easier barely any benefits to top up sort of to help us out 50p a week or something stupid like that um, and obviously the childcare side of things that helps us out great deal so Jen has a rest during the day um, and then come three o'clock she's with Faith and then at five or six two five and six uh, Abby gets picked up it's a long day for Abby as well but she enjoys it so much and she's been doing it since she was four months old I've always worked since she was like four months old you like nursery don't you Abby she it's all she knows so Like, it's difficult with the whole money thing as well because me and Hannah don't officially live together. I do spend, you might not think it from watching the vlogs, but I do spend some time at my mum's house. The only reason why you vlog so much of mine is because it's absolutely pointless because both being down the road from each other, being in two different houses and cooking ourselves two separate meals. Yeah. Like, we may as well make the effort to go to each other's house, cook each other's meals at the meal time. And cook together yeah. or one of us cooks for both of us because it's just a waste of money there's so much waste when you're just cooking for yourself 
Um, and there's no point me doing a big shop, like a Slimming World shop at my mum's, because... Because otherwise she'll have to carry yeah, it all down to Yeah, I'd have to keep on taking myself a packed lunch every day, and, that, and that's... Faith eats at what? Four o'clock. Then when a mum gets in, she eats, and her dad eats as well, so it's like... If Jen eats there, there's three separate meals going on through that kitchen. Yeah, well, I generally have to wait until after Faith's there, after my mum and dad's there. Because my mum doesn't like people in the kitchen when she's cooking. She's just... It's just, just the way my mum is. No, I don't mind. I don't mind. Mm. But we've got a bigger kitchen. <laughs> we've got more, like, open space, so I can pull her out the way of the workshop if I need to. She just shoves me in the fridge. I do, yeah. But anyway, back to the financial thing. It's yeah, because we don't officially live together, we would actually be financially better off if we did. But it's just not practical for us to do that at the moment because I need to work through some stuff first. Yeah, we've got some issues to work on first before we go through all of that. But we want to make sure we're a hundred percent in the right place before we go for it, don't we? We did officially live together when we had about six, seven months into our relationship. I did move in, but I was working full time then. And I kind of said she was she was working part, part time. But uh, one thing led to another. Uh, I think it was actually me, my fall at work. And then it was, we made our mind up that I would go and spend some time at mum's. Because I was so bad, I had to have someone with me constantly. It wasn't just that. That's when we had the homophobic hate crime against us. Yeah, no, we that was it, yeah. We, we were living in a, in a flat block and um, there was a, there was a lad upstairs and he, he fancied himself as a bit of a uh, bit of a woman beater. So me being me, hearing this young girl scream upstairs with a baby the same age as Abby, which was under one at that point, wasn't it? Months old. I went up and had a word with him, and uh, he just went from there, basically. He damaged our property, he kicked over my scooter. I had I, I used to drive a, a uh, moped to get to work, because it was quite far and there was no buses, so I did a government scheme and they gave me a scooter and put me through my test and stuff. And he, uh, he actually ended up kicking that and damaging it. Um, and it, he did it when I was due to going to work on an overtime shift. And because he damaged it and the wheel had buckled, I wasn't able to go into work. And I've always thought that was one of the reasons why I got laid off in the end. Because I was working there through an agency at the beginning. That seems to be the only way you can get a decent job at the moment, is if you go through agency, work your TITS off, and then hopefully get a contract at the end of it. But yeah, I'd been there three months, I'd got off the agency, I was just about to get a contract with the company, and then, that happened with my moped and I had to phone in and say I couldn't go and there was a time I had to come home early because he was banging on Hannah's door. Um, we've had eggs thrown at the windows, yeah. um, we've had abuse thrown at us in the street purely because we're a lesbian couple because that's all they throw at us. Oh and, uh, and then we're fat. Yeah. yeah. I'm so fat that my legs rub together. <laughs> Shit Sherlock, you know. <laughs> I was the one walking at the time and he was driving at the time, so that What's wrong, make sense. Babe? We've had a fair share of crap thrown yeah. at us in our short three year relationship. Yeah, we have. And it's my first same sex relationship. It's not easy. And that's why last week there was a video that didn't go off and I was completely honest and said I didn't want to vlog. But then, like, I've tried to patch it up this weekend, get back into the rhythm of it and my editor's just being a nightmare. But Hannah's home tonight, so I'm hoping I can sit down early with the editor and try and work out a few kinks, because I don't know what's going on. I'll also be on the phone to my niece, like, what the hell is this? Talk me through it. I hope you guys enjoyed the live chat yesterday. We actually watched a little bit of it back and it is so out of sync. I think the internet connection was a bit dippy. Eh? Judy's here. Morning. Morning. <laughs> And we're off. We've we've talked about how we felt we've done this week, Judy. What about yourself? Um, I take every week. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me I do. I take every week as it comes. I I I feel I've had a good week again. 
Um, but I just seem to be plateauing, so I don't know. Maybe I need to change something. Mm. You do tend to eat just the same stuff. I do eat just the same stuff. But we've just been talking about that. When you live on a budget, that's kind of what you have to do though, isn't it? Yeah. You have to get into that rhythm of this is my weekly shop, this is how much I spend. But we don't all have disposable income to just keep trying new recipes. Like I've said, we've had to slow down on how many new recipes we do because it just takes up so much money. You're having to buy everything from the start. The, yeah. Uh, Tub of herbs, yes, they last you ages, but the initial outlay yeah. is... When we first started yeah. Slimming World, we had no spices whatsoever. And it must have cost us a fortune for like the first six months, just getting stocked up on everything. Isn't it? It's minding where to buy things, like we do most of our shopping at Aldi. Yeah. <coughs> um, but there is some stuff we need to go to like Asda or Morrison's. Well. Yeah, we usually go to like whoever's got the offers on, yeah. don't we? Like the Muller Lights. Use the low angle, I'm a bit late waiting and I can't get any other members in. Um, just taking my coat off. Every layer counts, you never know. But well, I'm going to hand over to Hannah now. Just at the loo with the dabby do. Meeting's just started, but she always needs a wee wee as soon as it starts. A bit put out with my half pound on. But I knew it was going to happen because of a, a delayed star week. So I'm going to try and not let it get me down too much because I know then it will impact the rest of my week. Um, so yeah, try and keep positive I guess. A bit pissed off though if I'm honest. Where are you going? Where are you going? Morrison! Morrison's coming! You're coming! Emily's buying breakfast! Oh yeah! Uh, <laughs> Have a speedy week! Thank you! Not in your car! <laughs> so, just yeah. left group. I'm feeling a bit better about my half on. I know it's just because of my style week and I've just got to keep that in mind. But I had to look through some recipes as well because I think we're going to go up to Joe's this week and do lunch again there. Um, I've invited Sophie to come up as well. So that should be fun. Judy had a, what did you do this week? I stayed the same. You feeling all right about no, that? Not really. No. You've taken some SAS logs though, haven't you? I have, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I've won the raffle and I've won tons of veg. Mm. So I'm going to really make an effort to eat. I eat loads of fruit anyway. I'm going to make an effort to get that third of speed on my plate. Mm. Try switching to the majority of veg. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm going to because do. Because fruit has more natural sugar in than vegetables. Yeah, maybe you should try doing like an SP, but obviously, you know, just take the half a speed from the SP. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Try and cut out as much free food as possible. Maybe your body just needs that jump start again. I do need to jump start. Yeah. yeah. Hannah's happy. What did you do, Rav? Last one and a half. Woo! So I, I put on and she loses. I hope that isn't going to be the pattern. No, I hope not either. Uh, but yeah, happy about that. What do you say, Judy? Anybody's got any what? Any jump leads, please. Just, just jump start. <laughs> Couple of celery sticks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's a good group. I love our group. I just love how friendly they are, all our... We're a noisy rabble, but... Yeah, we're a bit noisy, but it's because we laugh and we share recipes and we all have a natter about what we've done and what we should be doing. And... Or Jenny has to try and control yeah, us. Yeah, Jenny has to try and control us. Sorry about that, Jen. It's what keeps us all focused, really, and it's not just... We just don't talk about what we've eaten. Like, there's people there that have got a lot going on in their lives, like me and Hannah, and we all talk about that. It's, it's more support... We enjoy going. We enjoy going to see everybody. It's not just about so going to way. Yeah. You know, we. I work there. I enjoy doing the way in and stuff. I enjoy chatting to everybody. Um, we don't go thinking, oh, we're gonna put on and then we're gonna sit on our own and not talk to anyone. So it just doesn't happen. No. If you're feeling down, the best place to do is to go there because. Parky bum in image therapy. Yes. I'm not sure what we do today. I haven't eaten yet today. I am so damn hungry. But do you know what the strange thing is? I'm not hungry. Oh my god. My stomach. I have loaded on my lap. My stomach is growling. Yeah. What 
do you want more? Do you want to have one? I don't know, but I thought we could tonight treat ourselves to a, um, an Indian takeaway. Have a dancer. And ha have a dance sack. Have a dance sack. A dance sack is ten and a half sins. For the whole portion, but it I um it does make two meals if I have a dance sack. Because I have boiled rice with it, which is free. You can have boiled rice. Um, and then I'm thinking pop doms might be the way forward because they're only I think three. Yeah, but you know what I don't like dance sack. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have a, I'll well, look in my bucket, um, Indian takeaway, good stuff. I know Chinese, the only one really is that black bean in it. I don't really like that. See, when I have an Indian, I like to have my onion bhajis, I have a chicken tikka masala, so you can have, you four can have pots the, of mint sauce. You can have the chicken tikka skewers, they're free. Yeah, it's living world. So, we can have a, we can have a full takeaway starter and main with just rice. save our sins or call and um be under our sins because it's only ten and a half yeah so a bit bad you on that one yeah but now lunch brunch I'm starving what we're thinking i don't know but it's gonna need to be quick because i'm literally about to eat my arm have we got any mushrooms though i'm, I'm hungry have we got any mushrooms yes. what I think soup? I think yeah i'm thinking like Egg on toast and mushrooms or something like that. Yeah, good day. Gonna see what's in the fridge when we get in. I know the cupboards are jam packed. Hangry. It is an actual thing, then I do really suffer with it, I don't I jam. Yeah. I do suffer with hangry. Mm. So if you did well this week as well. I can't remember what she, what it was now, but I know she lost. Really? She lost. No, she lost no. half. Three and a half last week, half no. this week. So mm. four in two weeks, which is spot on mm -hmm. but she's doing what she said she wanted to do before christmas i'm feeling really competitive as well because there was a lady that joined at the same time as me and she's lost 13 in three weeks and i now with my half on oh, yeah. i'm only up to nine and a half so i'm feeling like super competitive and she got slimmer of the week this week as well competition's always nice game on yeah I actually just put the camera down from saying I'm not hungry and my belly growled at me, so <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Food! Feed me! Yeah, because I haven't lost this week, I won't be having a treat. I won't be having, like, a twilight as such. The Indian can't be classed as a treat either because if you do have it, it's going to be healthy. Bye, Judy! Bye! Have a speedy week. <laughs> it's become the logo at group as well. Everybody says it, don't they? Now it's catching on. Have, Have a, speedy a speedy week. week. <laughs> I'm now just had a quick tidy up. Sorry, the washing machine's on its final spin. That's noisy. Uh, so I thought we had mushrooms, but that's all the mushrooms we've got. And we've got no bread. So Hannah's going to run to the shop quickly, much to her displeasure, because she's had to go and get changed again. But she's done it. Um, so there's two ki two tins of tomatoes because they're speed. I mean, Hannah's choice this week is to up our speed unbelievably. So we're going to try and get as much in as possible. Um, we're going to have bacon, um, some eggs, and some beans, and some toast. And it should be bloody delicious. You thought it was loud before. And the thing is, we haven't got a kitchen door. It's straight through. So when that's on, it's like it just echoes down the hallway because it's literally right in front of the hallway door as well. Noisy. Got to cut all the fat off the bacon. But we picked quite a good pack. Um, as you can see, like the tops. Like we'll probably just end up cutting that off completely and the cat will probably get it, to be honest. And we just have this bit because it's the bit with the less fat on. So on it 100% this week, not letting my half pound bother me, just going for it. And if, if I put half pound on because I'm a star week, then that should reflect next week because I still would have lost weight. So what I've got to do is just continue to do what I'm doing and see what happens next week. Check this out, guys. We have Jen cooking. Cheeky. Look that. Check that out. We've got these tomatoes they've been on for ages we like the tomatoes nice and thick and i like to add this which is free 
to my tomatoes, my beans and my mushrooms. I love that stuff. Beans simmering down nicely. The little ones add some beans. You can see the mushrooms just under the bacon, just so she's doing the eggs. Give herself some room. Bacon or the fat cutter. I like to try and do it in one pan because then it's all all the juices are still there. And like I've cut all the fat off the bacon and stuff. So we use this to cook it in. We've gone for the olive oil today. I didn't buy the butter actually. I don't like it, yeah. No, I don't. I, I'm not a fan of the butter one. But we have got this one, coconut, which we do use uh, for, well, we use this when we do our, like, wheat mix muffins, because it's mm. got a bit of a sweeter taste, so it just gives that extra sweetness, really. Say hello, Chef. Hello. Hello, Chef. Here we go, then. That's plenty of speed. That's, like, nearly a tin of tomatoes each. Uh, oh, it is a tin of tomatoes. Yeah. It? Yeah, obviously they've been condensed down though. Uh, mushrooms, there's like a punnet of mushrooms there. Bacon with the fat cut off, <laughs> beans which are free. Eggs is your protein. Hannah's had butter on her toast. I've just put the tomatoes on mine. And I think I'm gonna have a couple of tablespoons of red sauce with mine. So we had dinner and we're sitting there and we're like, what can we Bored. do? Bored. And it's freezing. So we, first of all, we looked at going to the cinema. It's like 30 quid for all of us to go to the cinema and that's without having having popcorn and stuff or us getting a drink which is crazy ridiculous so we'll wait until trolls comes out and the kids club at the weekend by paying them prices so we're gonna go to the bowling alley they've got like a little arcade so we're gonna take happy down there to go and play on some machines and stuff 2p ones 2p machines it's about her limit yeah, so I'll probably only spend another five <laughs> So we've just saved 25 quid. Hannah definitely wants an Indian tonight. So excited. Like, that's the only thing that's keeping me from going and demolishing a football sized pitch of chocolate. Football sized? Football pitch sized of chocolate. I've got a really dicky belly today. I don't know what's going on with me, but I should have lost five pound today if i'd gone after let's right put it that way. way yeah i'll be all right next week don't so know what's going on with me it seems to be all over the place i think i might have to go back to the doctors and see if i need to jiggle some tablets around yeah oh done baby what's yeah. up baby no baby no swimming today we're going to go to play on the machines it's too cold to try win abby some teddies or some sweeties no What's, what does Abby want to do? You want to go on the machines? Okay. There we go then. Abby, that's what Abby wants to do. So there's not going to be much cooking in today's vlog for you guys then. But it'd be interesting for you to see that you can have a takeaway and still saying stay in your sins. I've had one sin in sauces. Um, I've also had a bar which takes me up to four. Um, I've got a monster in my bag which takes me up to 13 and a half today that means i've got 15 and a half oh god i don't know 10 no 11 and a half sins <laughs> i think yeah yeah 11, i've got 11 and a half sins which is plenty because what's the answer it's 10 and a half but that could do both yes yeah, so 10 and a half 12 between both of us that's like right, so we'll go five and a half each. five and a half each yeah which will take me up to Nineteen and a half, yeah, boiled rice. Yeah, we'll get a, uh, I'll have a look, see how much the pop dogs, because ch chapatis apparently are maybe low, yeah. lower than naan. Or we might be able to split a naan, I don't know. Okay. We could get the tikka meat starters. Yeah, we'll get the tikka meat starters. Yeah, because that's just, that's just chicken and seasoning, so that's... And what I'll do is I'll make my own mint dip. Yeah. Um, so I don't miss out because I can drink those pots. Yeah, they are. Delicious. I say I can. I have. <laughs> Every right. time I have one. Let's go and have some fun. We've been home a couple of hours already. I've just got out the bath. Wanted to show you guys something today because you might remember me saying last week Jen didn't have my sash, but she did this week. And I got a certificate. Not that I feel like I deserve it. I mean, £10 not a lot. I get told off for saying that. And they got my... Miss Slinky Sash. 
So we're definitely having takeaway tonight. I'm going to see how I'll go with the dance app though because I don't know if I like it. Let's see. going to start editing soon so I can get it done because we wanted to get some of our Christmas wrapping done tonight as well. So I bought a six week countdown, so did Hannah. Um, as I've mentioned about going up to for lunch at Joe's this week, I know how you guys love her and how much we giggle. She's bigger than me. <laughs> Hannah thinks she's more popular than her. Not true. Do try guys, I'm just not a funny person. Um, yeah, so I've asked Sophie to come up as well and she's a giggle and all. So all of us in a room together. I won't be there. You what? I won't be there. I'm on earlier always. Oh yeah. That sucks. Boo, back to work. I'm not being sarcastic. I wasn't being sarcastic. Do you wanna watch? I'm watch back. I wasn't being sarcastic. Um, so I was looking through the festive book today, um, and I think I'm going to make a bean burger. So that'll be interesting. Be nice for you. Obviously we'll make Hannah one and bring it home so she can have it later for tea or something. Not sure what to do with it though, probably do wedges and maybe a side salad with it. And have a thins instead of a burger bun, and then we can have our egg and cheese and stuff. So it should be good, should be nice. Super torn at the moment because although I want to be good because I didn't lose weight this week I mean half a pound on isn't massive but still it's enough to, for me to say no But I really don't like chicken dansack I don't think I think I've tried Hannah's before and I didn't I didn't like it So I, want, I wanted my tikka masala and I've just looked it up and it's 24 sins Now I could do a few things to cut that down such as only have half of it which takes me down to 12 sins which is all the sins I've got for today left so I think that's what I'm gonna do and then we're not gonna have naan and my naan bread that I usually have the kima naan is like 28 sins so I'm not having that um, I think we're gonna have a chapati not sure on the sin on that gotta look it up still but nowhere near as much as a naan because they're like pancakes for anybody that doesn't know what chapatis are. But it's more of a savoury pancake. And we're not going to be having the mint sauce. So even though I'm going to go out of my sins a little bit. At least I'm not being blind and just ordering what I usually have. I have adjusted it to something more sensible I guess. I'm torn. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have my tikka. Usually I have like an egg fried rice as well. We're not having that. We're having a boiled rice. I'm not having samosas, I'm not having my naan, we're not having the mint sauce, we're having chapatis. So I, th I think that's a healthier choice for me to be making. And this is the first takeaway we've had in three weeks, which is saying something, because we were usually ordering two or three times a week when it was, when it was bad. So I'm just going to let myself have it, I'm not going to deny myself something. What? We would though, including going out, Hannah's just said two or three times a week, but yeah, it, including going out for meals and stuff, and like stopping off at McDonald's or having a Subway or nipping into KFC, it adds up, and we've done none of that, so I'm going to allow myself this tonight, and I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I have made sensible choices with my portions controlling what I'm eating. I know I'm not going to have a naan. I'm going to go for something lower sin value. Hannah's staring at me. Hannah's, Hannah's just said the baby going down to 20 sins a day, but I, re I really don't want to do that. I want to just give myself this tonight. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, you can flex your sin. It would, that would be another option, but I just feel like I've worked really hard over the last three weeks and I'm only going to go like 10 sins over or something like that so I don't know maybe I'll make up for it by doing an SP day I usually do an SP day by accident and don't realise that's what I'm going to do I, I feel like if I deny myself something that I really want it kind of encroaches on the rest of the week for me I'm just going to have it be sensible not feel like I've gone off track or I've spoiled it or anything like that and just carry on with the rest of my week like I should. So I'll show you the food when it gets here. Anna's still going to have a dance sack. 
Um, I don't like it. It's got. I like spinach. Um, but I know it's kind of. I, I'm funny with texture, and a dansak's quite textury. I like saucy kind of foods. So that's what's really putting me off it. I'm afraid that we're going to order it. I'm going to sit down with my food later and I'm really not going to like it. And that would piss me off, basically. The food's just arrived and here we are. Hannah, explain her plate to you. I've got, uh, this is our chicken tikka. Jen's got some as well. We probably should have ordered two because the first time we ever ordered anything like yeah. that, usually we have samosas or onion bargies, but we knew this would be free. So... Probably should have got two though. Yeah, uh, you get five pieces of chicken tikka and according to the book that's free. Uh, this is uh, steamed rice with um, chicken tikka dan sack. So that's five and a half sins there. I've got some more um, for tomorrow. And then we've got, instead of naans, we've got uh, chapatis, um, which basically is a, a warm wrap by yeah. the looks of it. Um, yeah. So that, they're seven and a half sins. And Hannah's made her own mint yoghurt. I've made my own mint yoghurt with um, low fat natural yoghurt, uh, garlic granules and mint sauce. Um, it's important to put in there, usually we would eat like... Well, I, I personally would have four or five pots of the mint yoghurt. Yeah, we would go through it. I have never... It's the God dangerous thing with sauces. They're like they're not filling, so you just keep going and going. But yeah, so I pretty much had the same, except I've had a tikka. Um, so that's half. So half of twenty. Is it twenty two? Twenty two sins. Yes, yes, twenty two yeah. sins. So it's eleven sins for me. Uh, the chapatis are seven. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. So I've gone over with this meal by seven sins today, which I'm perfectly happy with to sit down and have an Indian and at the end of the night and I've only gone over by seven sins. Plus, the only thing we've really eaten as well today is the breakfast. So this is the second meal of the day. So I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it. <laughs> just about done editing. Just got a couple of more clips to put in since I've started editing. Obviously, there's no treat plates tonight. <laughs> Absolutely stuffed. Really, really enjoyed my India. I think I enjoyed it more because we haven't had one for such a long time. Yeah, we didn't go to our usual place because they normally send us free stuff. So we didn't order from them. We went to somewhere else, which was recommended to us. <laughs> and they are known to be one of the best in town. It's all good there. So, yeah, I'm editing. I've literally just got to the last clip. And my editor started playing up on me. I've managed to bodge it by doing it a different way. But the clips I've recorded that are not on there yet, I'm going to do it tomorrow because I can see myself losing my tempo if I put them on there now and it doesn't work. It's like 11 o'clock already. Gonna uh, finish off up in the morning. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to save and upload to YouTube. We'll see though. I know I promised that I'd do do it all the night before but I'm knackered it's like half eleven and I'm full of cold so this week's going to be interesting yeah. if this doesn't shift Hannah's just been watching some vlogs some of the people that are doing Slimming Mark and everybody has a, a really different way of doing it and if you guys have got something in mind that you think would be good then let us know like do you prefer us sitting down and having a chat or do you prefer it when we're out and about? Do you enjoy learning other bits about our life and just not the Slimming World journey? Do you want to see the whole cooking process? Do you want to see snippets of it? Do you want to see our weekly shop every week? Um, do you want to know when and how often we go shopping every week? Because obviously the shopping side of it is a big thing for some people. Like Some people think that they can't afford to do Slimming World and stuff like that. Now, yes, we did spend £104 but in one shop. But it's the first time we went shopping in two weeks. Yeah, so that that's a good two to three week shop there. You know, there is two adults, one child. Yeah. Um, and a, an adopted cat uh, in that. So, um, and because we are trialling new uh, meals, we have had to get uh, some stuff that bulks it up, basically. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today then, guys. Let us know over on the Facebook page what you think about that. I'm going to try and set up some like questionnaires tomorrow if I can figure it out. Technology is just really getting on my nerves at the minute. 
I'm going to have to do surveys. Hannah will be helping me tomorrow then. So, here comes the usuals. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Add me on Snapchat. Put on Snapchat. <laughs> Make sure you pop over and like my Facebook page. Leave a comment down below. Scroll, scroll, scroll. <laughs> and don't forget, if you like this video, to give it a big old thumbs up. But most of all... Oh, yeah. Do you want to show them your book? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, Before we say the big final. Oh, yeah. Because we only discovered that the, the clip didn't record of my weight thing when I was sitting down editing. So... I thought she passed it to me, still recorded. I didn't realise she stopped the phone to pass it to me. And it's the one day I didn't check either. And I don't so feel well. Today, as well as getting my things, I got a missing key bling. Have you shown him your sash? Yes. So we're going to go with the good old traditional way. This is my handwriting because I do. Well, it's back to front. There you go. So on the 7th of the 11th today, 22 stone 10 plus half a pound, which makes a total loss of £9.5. Pound. <laughs> so there we go. Can't believe it didn't record. But to be honest, I'm glad it didn't because my face was a bit light and my voice was a bit like, uh, you've put on half. <laughs> but anyway, this stuff happens. It's life. Mm -hmm. So, good night. Hope you've all had a good day. But most importantly, have, have a speedy, speedy week. week.